You can probably tell by the fact that I'm a lot more bundled up, but it's a lot colder this morning. It was about 8 degrees when I woke up. It's probably like 10, maybe 11 degrees right now. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I got this log uh, all, you know, uh, strapped up on the sled. 35-foot cedar log, about uh, 12 inches at the butt, uh, 6 inches at the tip. And I'm going to try to haul it out with the snowmobile. That stopped me dead right there. Hmm. That's never happened before. Well, I said this was the law. This is the longest log I've ever tried to haul. So I don't know. We'll see. This is the biggest curve. So hopefully, uh, get this flipped back over, and we won't have a problem. Yeah. probably happened because the trail is so messed up here. Well, it pulled it a little bit of some ways, so maybe I just keep doing that. Clear the big, clear the big corners. So uh, it's more or less a straightaway up the hill now, as you can see there. So here comes the fun part: seeing if we can get up the hill. That wasn't too bad. Getting stuck there a little bit. Just yeah. I'm not, I don't think I'm, a, I haven't had any, any, even over 30 feet before, so this is 35 feet. This is like 7 feet longer than any other ones I've had. Just fine. And then, because I'm having trouble turning, I came up and smacked into this tree, and that slowed me down just enough to make me not able to get up this damn hill. Oh, yeah, this is kind of frustrating. I'm gonna cut that tree down. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, so that was a big stupid thing that just happened. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm walking back, thought, sat and thought about it for a while, and I'm like, I don't know what I can do other than leave this log here 
unless I use a winch or come along or something. I don't happen to have a uh, electric winch that uh, would be conducive to the one for my truck, but it's like way down at the bottom of the road. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the come along and a wire rope and some rope and some uh yeah chain and i'm walking to go get that right now i was thinking about it i was like ah, i'll just winch the whole setup out of there and then i was like wait i have to winch the snowmobile that's like 800 pounds of i think it's 800, something like that that i can just disconnect this hitch and then drive it up and and then I can just winch the sled up so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to winch the log itself on the sled up okay so I got the uh, snowmobile up the hill here and hitched uh, the sled and I've got a uh, rigging of uh, two come alongs to pull this uh, sled with the log on it. And uh, I started pulling it, it's actually pretty easy. So this is a much better idea than pulling the snowmobile and the sled. That would have been really stupid. I mean, that log probably only weighs, I don't know, like a lot less than the snowmobile. I don't know how much it weighs, but. Slowly but surely, inch by inch. Yeah, not bad. I only got about, uh, let me see, uh, I don't know. I figure I'll be able to get it once I get up, you know, once I get it up to the snowmobile, where the snowmobile is. This is the steepest spot right here. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna film this whole thing. This is gonna be totally stupid. Okay. Okay, this is, uh, little by little, this is working. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, it's been at least half an hour, maybe. Something like that, 45 minutes maybe. Uh, I've readjusted the uh, come-alongs a few times, and as you can see, I used to be way down there. Well, actually, the, where the bottom of the log is now, the top of the log was behind that. So, uh, the top of the log, this is the steepest spot on the hill. Uh, that was the tree I used to have the come-along on. So, uh... Anyway, the top of the log's past the steepest part of the hill. I'm still gonna winch it up a little bit more. Might have noticed I stripped off a few layers of clothes. It's not that it's gotten much warmer, it's just that I've gotten a lot warmer doing this. But it is working. I think I might buy an electric winch, a small one, like an ATV winch or whatever, or maybe one of those marine winches. I figure I could hook that up to the battery of the snowmobile and this would be a lot easier. Sometimes you can do that and then Just the winch again for the come along again though. Okay, so I got it all winched out and uh, winched up the hill. That took, I don't know, the better part of an hour. I uh, got it hitched up uh, to a better spot. This is still uphill here, and I got one more, but it's only it's it's a mellow uphill, and then I got one more steeper uphill right up there, but it's not as steep as that. That's the steepest part right where the uh, butt is there. You can kind of see where the tip is, rather, at the end of the log here. 
you can see that spot's real way, uh, yeah, way steeper. That's where I got stuck. So, anyway, um, still uphill though. So, we'll see. I'm gonna try this. Wow, almost didn't make it. That was kind of, I was about to get really frustrated there and then I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to try to back up and try it again. And yeah, we did it, uh, barely. Uh, as you can see, that's a little bit, uh, well, it's definitely, here's the other logs I've hauled out so far. This one is definitely the biggest, for sure the longest by, you know, at least five feet. And one of the biggest at the butt too. Nice looking cedar logs. I got some more over here. These are the ones that I was hauling out mostly with the uh, smaller snowmobile up that same hill. And then there's all the tops. Not all the tops, but that's a lot of the tops. Yep. Well, that's a five foot garden fence. As you can see, it's only about, uh, you know, two, two and a half feet high right now. Well, that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's getting logs out of the woods the easy way, sort of, or maybe the easy hard way, or I don't know. It's hauling, uh, logging for the cedar sauna. Okay. Hold on. This is probably a bad idea, considering uh, every time I try to videotape, something bad happens. But I'm going to try it again. This is, uh, I get another log on here. Another pretty fairly large log. It's not as long as the last one, uh, but it's pretty big. And almost as big as the last one maybe even a little fatter at the butt but uh yeah i'm gonna try to haul it up i'm gonna go ahead and try to haul it up and this is hopefully what happens when i do it right let's see <laughs>
Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen. 